Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Ngayon po ay Miyerkules, ika pito ng Hunyo. At mabuhay po kayo. Welcome po sa the stock market today. Ang ating balita ay isang special feature tungkol sa Philippine consumer sector. Ako po si Benji Chidoro, isang retired bank officer na nag-start mag-invest sa Philippine stock market noong 2007. Araw-araw ko pong binabalita ang pinaka-latest news tungkol sa inyong paborito at pinaka-aktibong stocks sa Philippine market. Kung gusto niyo po ng content, dinibitahan ko po kayo mag-subscribe. Kung meron po kayong stocks na gusto ipa-review o may mga tanong tungkol sa Philippine stock market, i-comment nyo lang po sa comment box at aking pa-prioritize. Hindi po ako financial advisor. Ang mga sinasabi ko po dito ay hindi po financial advice. Huwag kayong aalis dahil ibabahagi ko sa inyo ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, June 7, 2023, dito lamang po sa the stock market today. Ang ating headlines ay galing po ng BDO Securities. Philippine inflation eased for a fourth straight month to 6.1 in May, the lowest in a year. Because of slower increases in food and non-alcoholic beverages and decline in transport cost, deceleration in restaurants and accommodation services, and uh, year-to-date inflation is still 7.5. Samantala, sa company news naman, DOE wants just transition to renewables and MPI awaits new price offer. Collier says ITPBM firms remain keen on Metro Cebu. Then I saw one here on DMCI mining or DMCI eyeing to ship 1.5 million wet metric tons of nickel ore in 2023. So yan po ang ating financial headlines pero ang ating special feature ay galing po dito sa video securities. No? Easing inflation positive for consumer stocks. There is resilient demand, recovering margins to propel earnings. So there are improving macro fundamental supportive of consumption. So, una-una po, yung inflation po ay bumaba ng 6.1% in May on account of lower transport cost and slower price increases for food, non-alcoholic beverages, and restaurants and accommodation services. Not to mention the slowdown in prices of uh, gasoline and diesel, no? So, bumababa po siya compared to the 80 to 90 pesos two or three months ago. So, what does that mean? It means that there are better job opportunities and higher incomes, more optimistic for the next 12 months, and there should be stable prices of goods and effective implementation of government programs to ease inflation. So, Household consumption ay nasa 6.3% despite elevated price levels because Filipinos continue to spend for food, housing, and utilities. So, what does this say to our stock market? No? Ang sabi niya dito, these data trends are supportive of our positive view on the consumer sector as we highlight JFC and URC as our top picks considering the rebounding earnings outlook. So JFC, domestic driven growth complemented by international expansion. PDO SEC is betting on JFC and URC. So JFC po muna tayo. Ang sabi niya dito is that we expect 15 and 57% revenue and earnings growth respectively for JFC because 1. Expectation of resilient demand amidst easing inflation 2. Continued store expansion with new store launches queued towards international markets and brands and 3. Improving margins on account of easing commodity prices 
and continuing cost efficiency programs on both store and factory levels. So sa URC naman, we also prefer URC considering sustained growth for both its branded consumer food and international segments. So there is continued growth in ASEAN countries such as Vietnam, Malaysia, and Myanmar. And then there is an estimated growth of 12.2 and 24.9% top line and bottom line growth because one dominant market share of BCF PH key categories and further growth of BCF international branded consumer food claim BCF with full integration of munchies and sequential margin improvements as high cost inventories deplete. So yan po ang bet ni video sec with lower inflation go for JFC and URC may buy rating po siya dito sa dalawang stocks na ito. So mamaya tingnan po natin si JFC at si URC. Meantime, tingnan po natin ang inyong mga comments. Ang sabi ni Yasern Narciso Molina Domingo, Sir SPC. Okay, sige po. Then si Winbar966, salamat po sa review ng CEU. Is it a good buy? Po, pa bakit wala masyado volume? It means di siya crowded? Hindi ko masagot yung tanong mo kung goodbye si CEU o hindi. No? I have very little data on it. In fact, I don't have a study and uh, ayoko naman mag-guess. Okay po? Pero based dito po sa earnings report niya, hindi naman siya natatalo or hindi naman siya nalulugi. No? In fact, yung 2022 earnings second quarter is up. But this has to be updated. Ano? Kasi yung last niya is third quarter 2022. Eh. So wala tayong ibang data na masasabi dito. But I couldn't answer your question because I don't have a study on CEU. Okay, kahit walang masyadong volume, hindi ko po masagot yung tanong po ninyo. What I can say is that right now, yung technicals po niya, paakit po siya. But on the fundamentals, I cannot categorically say if it is a good buy or hindi. Probably a good buy, but I'm just guessing. Okay po, Winbar. And then, Ani Arellano. Medyo maingay po ang background ninyo. Nakupasensya na po kayo sa background. Dahil nasa remote location po ako. Sorry po. Okay, so let's take a look at the index. Tingnan po natin ang PSEI. So, index po natin ngayon ay umakyat. Meron po siyang recovery up 84.77 points. Pero bullish pa rin po or bearish pa rin po ang lagay ng ating index. Yan po siya Yan po yung pinaka-base or trend line po niya, no? yung uh, support. Nasa 65, 64.70, up 1.31%. But that should move up because of easing inflation and resurgent uh, consumption. Market activity naman, ang all share index ay up din, no? but uh, it's just 0.75%. Or 26.18 points. Pero up po siya. And all the, our sectoral indices are up. Led by the holding companies at 1.82%. So, tingnan po natin ang new request. Unahin po natin si SPC. Pagkatapos, tingnan po natin si JFC, URC, SM, at Ali. So, yung top stock po natin is BDO, BPI, SMPH, Ali and AC but let's take a look at Ali and SM yan so SPC po muna tayo Mer red engulfing ano nangyari kaya dito sorry guys hindi ko po alam kung ano nangyari dito pero nag oversold na po siya yesterday 
Nasa 28.86 po yung RSI niya yesterday. Red engulfing, it lost 5.71%. Ano? But I really don't know the reason behind it. So from the previous days, July 5, of 50.79, nag-drop po yung RSI to 28.86. Kaya po meron pong bounce today. So... Sa akin po, ay bearish pa rin po ang tingin ko po dito kay SPC. Yan po yung channel niya. So, it's it's below or near support level yung 870, no? 873 po kasi yung support level. But support and resistance is an area, no? Not an exact point. So, resistance nasa 9.918 ang pinaka-support po niya or resistance and the support is at 873 yan po ang aking nakikita kay SPC and earnings report uy maganda yung first quarter niya 104.70 and the 2022 earnings is respectable at 7.44 nagbibigay din po yan ng dividendo but it's July and December or June or this end December no the last one was June 24. So, this June, abangan nyo po na baka magbigay po ng dividendo po itong C. But right now, it is at support level, CSPC. And then, CJFC si naman po. CJFC si is one of the Philippine brands na nire-recommend ni BDO Sec, ano? So, it's bullish considering that our indicators are under and it has been moving up again a parallel channel ito po yung upward movement ni JFC so nasa near support na po si JFC at yun po yung at ganito po yung kanya movement on the short term you know? and this is from April 12 to July 7 yan po si JFC with 230 as our support and 240 as our resistance more or less so nasa support level more or less itong si Jollibee Foods based dito po sa ating parallel channel the earnings report is first quarter baba <laughs> negative 3.2 so it's lower by 3.2% lower compared to the first quarter last year and then the 2022 earnings is 33.38 percent respectable pero maliit lang po magbigay ng dividendo tong si Jollibee it's more on capital appreciation then si URC naman URC tumataas siya eh tinignan ko kanina tumataas po ito yan no pero it had a low here of 140 and then it recovered again to 146 from a high of 155 here 156 actually kala ko magba 160 pero yung fundamentals po kasi kung titignan po natin si consumer Jollibee meron po siyang uh, target price of 280 no Nasa 231 na po si Jollibee yesterday. But uh, si URC naman, 175 naman po, 21.5% upside. 21.2 naman ang upside ni Jollibee. So 175 po ang target price ni URC. And it is bullish pero mukhang nagtataper off po. Based dito sa fundamentals. Meanwhile, pwede natin ilagay ang support sa 142 50, ito po yung M100. Samantalang ang resistance, pwede natin ilagay dito sa 154, more or less. Yan po, CURC. Then si SM naman, hindi natin nare-review si SM for quite some time. So tingnan po natin si SM moving sideways lang po siya. And from this point here to this point here, uh, Darvas box ang gawin natin dito. Kasi pwede yung ganyan po si SM eh. Ganyan po yung movement niya. No? 
Yeah, no, from December 5 to July to June 7, yan po ang pinaka movement ni ni SM. No, so nasa 153.50 ang kanyang resistance and support is at 904. So ngayon ay nasa gitna po siya at paakyat po si SM. So right now, ang earnings report niya is respectable. Ang maganda, 34.05 for the first quarter. And in 2022, 54.36. Now, with consumers trooping to the malls and buying consumer goods, then SM would be also a very good stock to buy. And then finally, we have Ali. See, Ali bearish si Ali bearish siya but with easing inflation kasi right now kanyang support nandito sa 2584 yun po yung support ni Ali yan po 2584 ang pinaka support niya and uh, nearest resistance that I see dito po siya sa 27 2740 to 2750 ang pinaka resistance po. Pero bearish po ang dating sa akin ni Ali, but there is a recovery today at 40 up 40 centavos at 2630. So maganda po. Maganda po bumili ng Ali dahil you can never go wrong with Ayala Land. Okay, so yan po ang ating report sa stock market ika 7 ng Hunyo. Ito po si Benji Chidoro ng papaalala. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay. Hanggang sa muli, stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.